So we wanted to use film as the ultimate offline long-term preservation and ultra-secure storage medium. That was the basic idea. That idea introduced us to the global seed vault, uh, which is up at Svalbard. And then we thought, well, if they can store seeds for the benefit of humanity into the future, why couldn't we store data at that island? I work as a business developer for Store Norske, the state-owned mining company in Longyearbyen. The mining activity is now reducing and we are looking for other things to do. This Arctic World Archive is one of the activities that we have started. And the place for it is this old mine, number three. It has been shut down for 20 years. The mine has been stable for like 20 years, so it's, it's no big risk. But if it beeps, we have to go out immediately, because then it means that there's too little air. Or... The mountain is uh, three and a half kilometers wide, so there's a lot of space in here. And political risk is one of the biggest uh, risks in preserving information or preserving anything for the future. And there you have this island, uh, which is up uh, in the north, uh, regulated by an international treaty, demilitarized, accepted by all the major superpowers. And this is uh, arguably the, the most political uh, safe place on earth. This is the first seed vault, the new information storage. So it's, uh, Shall we pull back a bit? We just have to ventilate it a bit. So this is the machine where we, we write the data into very high resolution QR codes to the film. I'm very proud of this machine. This system is actually dosing uh, light on the level of photons. So this is a combination of digital imaging high resolution optics and electro optics and this super precise fast film transport system. Right now we're doing 20 frames per second, 40 megabytes per second. Maybe hard drive is a bit faster but it's pretty fast actually for uh, such a system. So there are only three of these machines in the world available now that will now preserve the most valuable data in the beginning. A couple of religious uh, institutions that wants to store their data, research, media, If the rest of the world goes uh, to hell, uh, this place will be the last thing to, to fall off. <laughs> One advantage is that it's uh, impossible to hack it or uh, change it. Uh, when it's there, it's there. The biggest threat to data security is actually that all datas are online one way or the other. And you can never be clever enough to protect yourself against the hackers. So whatever kind of clever solution uh, we come up with to protect data with encryption or you know, security regimes, there will always be ways to get in. To get into that mine in Svalbard is extremely tricky. And then the medium to, to get it online is extremely tricky. So you have uh, many, many, many layers of protection compared to normal data storage. So this here is the pickle reader, reading back binary files into the original data. One of these frames is two megabytes. This is something you can build yourself, based on drawings, information, documentation, which is kept on the film. So that is the very, very unique property of this technology, which is not on, 
on, on a golden disk shot into space because then you need to decipher and, and have tools to specific tools to get the data out. It's this unique combination of a photosensitive medium where you can have things human readable, like photographs and clear text, together with the binary data. And there is no other storage medium that actually has this unique benefit. You don't need any device to find out what this is. You need your own eyes. And if there is light, if there is sun, you should be able to understand how to get these data back. I mean, we're all creating information and pictures that we would like to carry into the next generation. So we think we can offer a nice tool for that. We hope to uh, place uh, both a writer and a reader uh, in town so that people can send us the information and we can produce the film rolls up here. I hope that the world's important memories uh, will be stored in the world. The memories that must and needs and deserves to be carried into the future. And that could be all kinds of information. It could even be, you know, the hottest YouTube videos. It could be, you know, 3D scans of, uh, of objects of art. Uh, it could be high resolution color scan of the Mona Lisa painting in Louvre. It could be any kind of objects that we want to carry into the future. Pickles, uh, that's preserving food. We are pickling data. To pickle your data, that might become a verb in the end, right? Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.